<sighs> okay, so where do I begin? Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today is Vlogmas Day 11, I think. No, Vlogmas Day 12. One of the two. Either way, you'll know from the title above. So this video is kind of like a small little labor of love. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a big labor of love because I've done more extensive videos before, but a lot went into this video and this is where it's at. So long story short, I had originally rented a studio yesterday for a photo shoot for a campaign that I had to do and I figured since it was a full hour, I would use some of the time to film this video. Usually photo shoots don't take longer than 15 minutes for me to finally like nail the final image that I like and I'm happy with. So I thought that we would have more than enough time, but turns out, knowing me, I was late. We were about like 10, 15 minutes late or so to getting into the space. So we only had 45 minutes left and the lighting was a little bit aggressive when we shot the uh, photos. So it took quite a bit of time for us to really calibrate and determine exactly how we want the image to be shot with the correct lighting so that I could edit it and it wouldn't look like a nightmare. And then that only really left us with like 15 minutes left to shoot 25 outfits. And on average, it takes about a minute and a half for me to go from shooting 20 to 30 second clip per outfit to changing to the next one before I can film the next one. So if you guys do the math, doesn't really fit. So I think I fit in about nine outfits before we were kicked out of the studio because we only had one hour and there was another team filming right after us. So I didn't really get the chance to film everything in there, but the studio looked really, really nice and the setup was perfect for the holidays, which is actually primarily why I wanted to shoot the video there. And I didn't want to scrap any of that footage. So I've just gone ahead and included it in this video so you guys can enjoy some holiday festive decor. Not that this tree isn't enough already, but you know, if you wanted more, there is more. And then I had to finish shooting the rest of it at home here in the comfort of our place. So you'll see the regular setup, sans any sort of Christmas decor, but this video is to share 25 holiday, so for Christmas, New Year's Eve, any other sort of like holiday festive events that you have, outfit inspirations for you guys so that you can be perfectly dressed for the holidays without any doubt that you're not the best looking one in the room. Because you know what? It's always better to be overdressed than to be stressed. So that's that for you. But I've essentially broken everything down into like five different categories, which I think would be perfect for the holidays. We have your sparkly sequins, because everybody knows you gotta have some sparkle for the holidays. You also have some texture play, because I like to mix and match different textures like leathers and knits, velvets, satins, you know, that sort of thing. There's that one. And there's also red because you know, holiday time always calls for red. So there's gonna be some red outfits in there. There is also winter whites because I don't know why, but I love wearing full white outfits in the winter time. So you got that. And then the very last one is plaid. I like plaid and I wear it all year round, but I find that during the holiday season, it is the best time to be wearing plaid. So obviously I inserted some outfits in there featuring some plaid pieces. You will see this sweater in the video, so do not worry. And as always, all of the items that I can find links to will be included down in the description bar below. I try to include as many relevant pieces as I could in the video so that you guys can still go out and shop them. Um, some of the pieces are ones that I've previously owned from past years, so you may not necessarily be able to shop them this year, but I'll try my best to find substitutions or similar ones, or you know what? If you already have a similar piece in your closet, go for it. It doesn't need to be the exact same outfit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the very piecemeal -y project it was in between putting together like, I don't know, an outfit in a studio to outfits at home. And yeah, let's go right into it. So let's start off with reds. I love wearing red all throughout the year, but I feel that the holidays get some special attention because you should just be wearing red for the holidays anyways. And if not, not a big deal, but I use it as an excuse to wear full red outfits whenever I can. And I'm not the biggest fan of like bright, bright, bright red. And I do have a couple of pieces in that shade, but I do like to mix and match my different reds together so that I can have like brighter pieces with dark pieces with some that kind of like verge on the burgundy, bluish, purpley tone. So that's always a fun way to mix and match your reds. If you don't have reds that match all the way through, obviously you don't have to wear a full matching red set from top to bottom. It's better to mix and match them because they kind of look like you know what you're doing and you're playing with different textures and color patterns. So my favorite type of outfit is to have like a light red top and then a darker red bottom because I feel like that really like accentuates 
the bottom and makes you look open and bright and airy but you can swap it around if you like you can also play around with textural reds it doesn't need to be a solid red i like to go with like a plaid jacket and pants i actually ordered a plaid suit for this outfit surprisingly but it did not come in on time so i cannot feature it in this video and i'm really sad about it because it looked amazing so if I have the chance to share another video before Vlogmas is over, I'll definitely try to include it in a haul of some sort. Sneak peek, it's from H&M, so you might be able to expect an H&M haul within the next week or so. Who knows? Just in time of the holidays, they have some amazing picks and outfits. But let's jump right into the reds so I can share with you all of my picks and selections for this holiday season. So now that we're done with the reds, let's jump right into the opposite, which is whites, polar opposite, polar bears, you know, winter whites, that sort of thing. I am a huge fan of wearing white in the winter time, particularly monochrome white, head to toe, white accessories, white top, white pants, white shoes, you know, the whole shebang. If I had a white jacket to throw over top, 100% would as well. But actually, you know what? I do have a white jacket that I could wear with this with these outfits but I decided I want to show you what's underneath because you know if you're going to a holiday party you're gonna be taking that jacket off so you gotta make sure your underneath is all white so I've pulled together five different all white outfits for you guys to kind of share my inspiration behind how to get that all winter white crisp look you can obviously mix and match lots of textures I love wearing corduroy and knits in the winter time if you could not tell but you can definitely get away with white jeans white denim as well I just find that like white denim is not as warm as like a chunkier thicker material so this is why I just had to go with corduroy for most of my outfits but let's go straight into the video where you can find a bunch of different comfortable versus like a little more I guess put together outfits for a bunch of variety of different situations whether you're going to a relative's house for like a fun casual dinner party or you're going to a work party where you want to dress up and look a little fancy so let's get right into that The third winter trend that I really want to touch on and one of my favorites for the winter time. I just recently started wearing plaid last year and I don't know why it took me so long to get into it, but it's so much fun and it makes it really easy to pair with solid colors without feeling like you put too much effort into it. It's just, it's effortless. Plaid is an effortless trend for the winter time. Like I said, I had a plaid suit ordered, a red plaid suit, and I would have also been perfect for this segment of the video but unfortunately did not come in on time so we had to make do i have actually recently acquired quite a few plaid pieces in my closet within the past couple of months leading up to the winter time i didn't even know that i was gonna plan this video up until maybe about like a week or two ago so i guess subconsciously my mind is telling me like plaid 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 jump on it but plaid is so easy to play with if you guys have any sort of hesitations as to how to match plaid with the rest of your closet fear not super simple all you have to do is pick one color from the plaid if you have like a plaid, like these pants right here, these are brown, red, black, or like a dark brown, and a white, and pick a top in the same color, or bottom in the same color, whatever your outfit is gonna be, and boom, instant outfit complete. You're gonna see that I have a blue and white and red plaid turtleneck, and I paired it together with a red skirt, 
works perfectly. This is not the exact same color as my plaid pants, but it's within the same range of shades of the brown, so it works perfectly. But otherwise, if you guys are afraid of plaid, please don't. It is a wonderful, wonderful pattern to be wearing at this time of the year, and it works really well into your existing wardrobe if you have a lot of neutrals. More often than not, there's white and black and plaid, so you can easily just throw one of those tops or bottoms into it, and presto, instant outfit. Number four is texture play. I love mix and matching textures throughout the winter time. A lot of these textures are ones that I cannot wear in the summer, which is why I really gravitate towards them during the holidays. And it's fun to kind of like really play up knits with like simpler textures such as like satins or silks or leathers. And I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together. A lot of these are pieces that I have that I wear separately in the fall and spring, but in the winter time, that's when everything just comes together and it feels like a giant snuggly hug. There is nothing wrong with mixing textures. You can definitely wear like leather on leather, knits with leather, silks with leather, silks with knit. It just adds like a nice more, I guess, dimensional look to your outfit beyond just cotton and denim I guess and if you're really stuck with mixing patterns this is when I like to go to textures because you can have a solid texture in the top and a solid texture in the bottom and it looks perfect together with a little bit of pattern to it I would say this is kind of like a pattern on its own even though it's not like a drawn on pattern it's like a knit pattern but it's also a texture I would love to pair this with a pair of leather slacks I don't have leather pants I'm actually on the hunt for the perfect pair of leather pants right now I have pleather ones but it's not quite in the silhouette that I like so once I acquire more leather pants you guys will be seeing a lot more of that on my account within the next couple of months but let's jump right into the texture play where I show you how I have fun with different textures together And then the very, very last trend. I can't believe I left this at the end. Why did I list this as the first one? Sequins, guys. Sequins, sparkles, twinkles, everything under the realm of that. I love, love, love sequins. And the holidays are the best time of the year to wear sequins because it's literally your excuse to bust out the sparkliest thing that you can find in your closet. I mean, you could wear it during your birthday or if you're going to some like fancy bachelorette party, but you don't typically wear sequins throughout the rest of the year. So I take advantage of the holiday time to wear as many sequins as possible to get all the little shimmer and twinkling going because after the holidays, I pack that up away back into my wardrobe and I don't take it out until next year. So maximize your sequin time. This literally is sequin season. We should really dub the holiday times sequin season. I know sequins are a little bit aggressive for most people, but it's really easy to pare down and I'm gonna give you guys some tips to go along with the outfits that I'm sharing with you. So first off, be careful when you're wearing sequins. All it takes is one rip and then the whole row is gonna fall off. I actually am very, very particular with how I take care of my sequin outfits. I am very careful when I put them on and take them off. I actually store a lot of them in bags so that when I'm pushing them around my closet, they're not getting stuck on other pieces of clothes and like ripping my clothes or ripping themselves and falling apart in my closet. You do not want a broken sequin dress because that is not fun to put back together. I probably wouldn't, it would go straight into the garbage and you don't want to do that to a dress you don't get to wear often so please be careful with your sequins second of all sequins are so loud and speak for themselves so you don't really need that much else to go with it it literally is an entire outfit 
on its own. When it comes to sequins, I don't accessorize too much when it comes to my jewelry because I feel like all the sparkle from the sequins is literally like a walking jewelry piece on its own. So simple pair of shoes to go with it and then your instant outfit is presto, complete, just like that. So I would say pick a dress, pick a color that you like, find a pair of shoes that are similar color in the range if you aren't comfortable with mixing and matching colors and then your outfit is simple and done and ready to go. I would even gander that I would be willing to wear sequins to more than one holiday party, like the same one. You can rewear them. Who needs to know? Chances are your friends are not throwing the same holiday party multiple times in a row in the season. So you can go to multiple ones with the same exact outfit and no one would know the better. So yeah, do it guys. I have a collection of sequin dresses in my closet and I literally bust out the same ones almost every single year. So I brought up some new ones to show you guys the different options that are currently on the market. And these are my favorite ones. I also highly recommend get a sequin dress that you can zip and unzip because the ones that stretch don't actually have a lot of stretch in the thread when you're wearing them so the thread can actually snap when you're trying to like fit it over your head if it doesn't stretch over top of you so make sure you find a stretchy dress or one with a zipper so that you can get into it easily so let's jump straight into the sequin dresses So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those 25 different holiday inspired outfits that I put together for you. I had a lot of fun creating these outfits and not so much fun trying to film them when I wasn't able to get the entire process filmed in that little studio space. But I hope you guys enjoyed the slight holiday decor that I incorporated into the video. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I would really appreciate it if you enjoyed videos like this to please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, especially which outfit was your absolute favorite. Hopefully you guys found some inspiration for your holiday parties coming up soon and let me know if you do end up wearing one because I would love to know which outfit spoke to you the most. If you guys haven't already followed me on Instagram, you can follow me here and my Twitter is the exact same handle also here. So give these two a follow and you'll see much more frequently updated content from me. I post on Instagram at least like twice a day. To be honest, I post on Twitter like once or twice a week or if I'm on like a rage rampage post a lot but thank you so much for coming back and watching the video today guys i hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas bye